great. If everybody could grab their seats. I have some money that's burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys don't want the money. <laughs> okay, awesome. So this morning was amazing and inspiring, and I hope you all feel fantastic about the work that you did. As I mentioned, there are going to be five proposals that you'll see up there whose names that I'll call that receive the highest votes from the people here in this room. That does not mean that the other projects aren't going to be successful. It doesn't mean that Mobilize isn't committed to making each of them successful, like I mentioned. But the people here in the room felt like five projects in particular rose above the rest, and they'll be receiving Mobilize funding today. You won't leave the room knowing how much money you received because each person asked, each group asked for a different amount of money, but you will know if you're one of the five groups whose names that I call, you'll have received a financial investment from mobilize.org. But I think the even more exciting thing is that everyone here has received a huge leadership investment from Mobilize over the next year. So this is not the end of anything. This is actually just the beginning. We're going to be doing a lot of programming here in Miami. We're going to see each other a lot. Um, hopefully one of these times we'll be outside, uh, but, but we're going to be seeing each other a lot. We're going to be doing a lot of important work together, and so this is just the beginning of the work that we need to do here in the community and on your campuses. So if I could have a drum roll, please. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to announce that for, I'm going to announce it from five to one. So in fifth place, receiving a financial investment from Mobilize.org today at Target 2020 is breaking down barriers. <laughs> if, you guys, if you guys can come up to the stage. <laughs> if, if the group can come up, we're going to give you an award and we're going to take a picture with you. Thank you. Here you go, ladies. In fourth place, if I could get a drum roll, please, we have improving graduation rates with a four-course success sequence. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. All right, thank you guys, congratulations. All right, drum roll. In third place, we have CEASE, Students Excellent Expansive College Experience. Okay, drum roll. In second place, we have my college guide. And in first place, with the highest votes today, drum roll, high school community outreach.
Congratulations, you guys. And so now for those projects that just received funding, Chris, if we could flick it up. This is, Mobilize has received money a million different ways from a million different foundations, but I can tell you this is really the most transparent and empowering way that I've ever seen an organization give money. Here are the votes, here are the winning votes, and we'll give each of the projects, whether you are funded or not funded, oh, sorry about that, um, whether you are funded or not funding, you'll have the data set, so you'll know the areas where you need to improve based on where your peers voted you on. So congratulations to all of the winners. These are amazing numbers. Are there, um, are there anything you wanted to say about the results, Chris? Uh, we, we had uh, five other groups that were all very high scores as well, 25 or above. And the difference between the fifth place one and the sixth place one was only three tenths of a point. So it's extremely close. So it just shows the overall quality of, of all of the projects, all of the presentations. Uh, but one thing was to really focus on the use of uh, new media tools and social media. That was the one area that overall was, was lower viewed in terms of success by everyone here. So just keep that in mind yeah. when, you, when you move forward with your work. And, and rightfully so, if you guys were at my session, I said of all the ones to focus on, that was the one that uh, focused on least. So I'm glad to see such high impact, creativity, and sustainability numbers. Um, so what we're going to do now for the next 45 minutes that we have you here um, is I'm going to bring Crystal and Jade back up to facilitate my favorite part of the summit, so this is when we get the chance to talk about how the summit experience went, what we can learn from, what we can do better, and most importantly, there's a big difference between doing, just talking about the work and actually having done anything to change the lives of the people for whom and with whom we do this work. So this is an opportunity for us to share our commitments to action, right? Because this room came together, because you met one another, this is how our lives are going to be different tomorrow, right? This isn't just a conference that you're going to leave from, but this is truly a transformational experience. We hope at least that it's a transformational experience for you in your leadership journey, in your academic journey, and in your personal journey. And so we just wanted to take a little time time now to talk about that and hear from some of you about how this weekend went, uh, what you experienced, and what projects and commitments you'll be making because of it. So I'll introduce um, 